There are several logistics tools included with Maptitude, such as the routing tools and the travel time table tool. This video demonstrates the facility location tool that helps you choose the best location for one or more facilities from a set of possible locations. Facility location requires a point or area layer of the clients to be served and a point or area layer containing the facility locations under consideration. If there are existing facilities in your facility layer, you must also make separate selection sets for the candidates and the existing facilities. In this example, I have a warehouse that is no longer sufficiently large enough to service all of my retail stores, so I need to open a second warehouse. I have already used Create a Map Wizard to locate my retail stores, and then to locate the addresses of my existing warehouse and candidate sites that I had stored in a spreadsheet. I use the selection tools to create selection sets containing my one existing warehouse, and a candidate site selection set containing the rest of the features. Now I can choose Tools, Analysis, Facility Location to start the Facility Location Wizard. First I need to choose the client layer of locations to be serviced, which in this case is the Retail Store layer. Next I need to choose the existing and candidate features. The wizard has already correctly identified the warehouse layer and my selection sets of existing and candidate warehouse features. Next, you choose whether to balance the facility locations based on how long it takes to reach the facilities, the fastest route, or based on how far it is to each facility, the shortest route. I'll go ahead and leave this on fastest. If you want, you can also choose to omit from your analysis any routes that exceed the threshold by checking this box and entering a maximum value in minutes or distance units. Next, you choose the number of new facilities. I'll leave this on 1 and click Next. Finally, you will choose how you want to optimize the location of your facilities. Choose the first option if you want to minimize the average cost of service to each client. Some clients may be very far away. Choose the second option if you want to reduce the highest cost of service to any one client. The average cost may be higher, but this will ensure that no client is too far from a facility. This would be the preferred method, for example, if you were trying to determine the best location for a new fire station and wanted to reduce the maximum distance a fire engine needs to travel to a resident's home. And choose the third option if you want to keep the facilities as far as possible from the nearest client. Landfills and power plants, for example, are often located relatively far from major population centers. I'm also going to weight the clients by the number of units of demand so as to prioritize the most important stores that sell the most units. There are two primary outputs from the facility location procedure. The first is a table that contains one record for each client that indicates the facility to which each is assigned. Aptitude prompts me for a name for that file, and I'll go ahead and use the default here and click Save. The second output will be a selection set of the location of the new facilities, which will be displayed automatically once the procedure is complete. And now you can see that Maptitude has determined that using the Cicero location for the second warehouse will provide the best overall service. I'm going to do one more facility location procedure, but this time I'll let Maptitude determine the number of facilities to open. First, I'm going to close all the windows and reopen my original map. Again, I'll choose Tools, Analysis, Facility Location, use Retail Store as my client layer, and Warehouse as my facility layer. Only this time, I'm going to choose Automatic for the number of new facilities and click Next. Choose this option if you want to find the best facility locations that bring the average cost of service below a certain threshold. Or choose the second option if you want to bring the cost of service to every individual client below a certain threshold. For example, I might not want any retail store to be more than 60 minutes from a warehouse. I want my average drive time to be less than 30 minutes, so I'm going to choose the first option, enter 30 here, and click Finish. Again, Maptitude runs the facility location procedure, and you can see that Maptitude has determined that I need to open four new facilities to keep my average drive time to service the stores under 30 minutes. If I make the retail store layer the working layer, I can create a color theme on the stores showing the warehouse to which they are assigned. This again comes from the table that was produced when I ran the procedure. And finally, I no longer need to see the candidate warehouses on the map. So I'll click here in the Display Manager to make the selection set invisible. Now my map shows the original warehouse, the new warehouses necessary to provide the level of service I want, and a color theme showing which warehouse will serve each retail store.
And that wraps up this video on facility location with Maptitude.